Hey YouTubers, Wild Gunner here. I'm doing a a review of the Golden Tiger 5.45 millimeter full metal jacketed ammunition. For this review, I'm going to be comparing it to the good old fashioned 7N6 military surplus ammo. This is was the only uh at the time of my previous 5.45 millimeter ammunition review, I didn't have any Golden Tiger, and at the time I couldn't, I didn't know where to find it because I looked around for a bit, couldn't find it, said you know whatever, and I just kind of went through with the review because I didn't feel like waiting. For, well, anyways, long story short, I did find uh, AmmoStore.com did was selling Golden Tiger and they're the only ones that were selling Golden Tiger because I looked at Cheaper Than Dirt didn't have it, JNG Sales didn't have it, AIM Surplus didn't have it, nobody had it except these guys for some peculiar reason or another. Anyways, quick little bit of history is the Golden Tiger ammunition is produced at the uh, Vimpel plant may be pronouncing that incorrectly. That's actually located out in uh, Siberia, which, uh, as opposed to the Tula plant, which is where Wolf, uh, Tula ammo, and uh, Yulovask ammunition were produced at, or the uh, Branul plant, which is produ produced, you know, all the different various bears, the ammunition that was just like this one over here, just called Branul. And also they seem to be making uh, ammunition now called a MFZ, I think, or something like that. Anyways, it's the same name as a Hungarian ammunition company for some reason, but they're made in the Branul plant. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. But uh, these are the only ones made from that plant that are imported into the United States. And they seem to be very high quality ammunition. Like un unlike most of the uh unlike the all the Tula imported stuff nowadays, anyways, it's a lacquered case with a moisture sealed bullet and primer. The another quick fun fact is they this actually has the air pocket in the front of the round like the 7N6 did as opposed to just filling the whole thing up with lead is well like the uh... this is still a boat tailed projectile it's like a lot of the other bullets like the tools and everything is like this is a 54 grain boat tailed projectile and this is a 59 grain boat tailed projectile even though like the silver bear and the wolf were 60 grain rounds is they're actually shorter as they cut off the back end of the boat tail the reason for that being was a with current laws is they're not allowed to import steel cord am newly produced steel cord ammunition which is uh lead is obviously heavier than steel and this is usually steeled core so if you're going to replace the steel with the lead you're gonna you know wind up with empty space so what they did is they just cut off the back t end of the boat tail for most of the other newly produced civilian ammunition to try to keep it more or less the same weight what the Vimpelt people did was they actually uh, kept the projectile the same size and this is true of their 762 by 39 ammunition also is the projectile is still longer than the uh, other ones but they simply instead of taking the weight out the back they took the lead out of the front and just made a air pocket in the front so it, this ought to still basically have the same uh, tumbling characteristics and tissue as the 7N6 would and it's more it's as close to 7 and N6 as you can still make and legally import. Also, they seem to have, due to it being made for civilian use rather than the military, is they seem to have maintained uh, tighter quality controls 
and overall it just seems to perform better. Which, getting to the performance, these groups I fired, two for the 7N6 and two for the Gold Tiger, were both fired at 100 yards. My previous ammunition review was at 50 yards, which seemed to cause some confusion because I would shoot like a one inch group, like the worst group I shot was like a two inch group. And certain people in the comments without who apparently hadn't heard my entire, everything I said, thought that I was shooting at 100 yards. And they're saying, there's no way you can shoot a 0.9 inch shot group with an AK-74 at 100 yards, which was true. I didn't, I shot it at 50 yards not at a hundred and also that was a very good shot group anyways so for the record this was a hundred yards so these groups set so like my uh i think i shot a 1.7 inch group during my first review but a pretty much three inch you know a three inch and a 2.8 inch group for my second review with the seven and six because it was farther away moving to the accuracy as I mentioned, 3 inch and a 2.8 inch for the 7 and 6 versus a 1.9 inch and a 2.1 inch. These are 10 inch, sorry, 10 shot groups, I'd like to point out. So, accuracy definitely goes to the Golden Tiger. Price, obviously, I got this at 23 cents a round as opposed to the slightly went up. Now it's about 14 cents a round most places for the 7N6. So if you're looking to buy in bulk and your, you know, cost is an issue, which it is for the vast majority of us, 7N6 still wins in the cost category. Reliability, I didn't have any misfires or any functionality problems with either of them, so that's basically a tie. Um, as I mentioned before, is they're both sealed against the environment. So, they're both essentially identical for purposes of long-term storage. If you were going to be storing them for long periods of time for, you know, survivalist purposes or just to stock up now so you don't have to buy later, is the one difference, I suppose, would be the packaging, is whereas this will just come in a cardboard box with plastic wrapper in it, you know, it's still essentially sealed against the environment. The 7N6 obviously comes in the big uh, spam cans, which are sealed against everything you can potentially throw at it, basically. So it's a slight advantage for long-term storage of the 7N6, but not by much. Overall, as I mentioned, very impressed, you know. Basically, for me, with my weapon, once again, not the best shot in the world, this was a 3 m about a 3 MOA round when fired out of my gun by me. This was about a 2 MOA round. Which, so if you're really looking for the better quality of ammunition, this wins, in my opinion. It's just better, and essentially it's like this, but better. Period. Which also is more expensive. I probably won't be buying any more of this anytime soon, because I have like 400 rounds of it, and I'm just kind of holding on to it as a, you know, my emergency ammunition. For my plinking and everything, I'm still mostly going to be falling back on the good old 7N6. Those are pretty much my thoughts on the two rounds. Highly recommended, if you can find it because, as I mentioned, hardly anyone seems to have them in, in stock. And where I got them at, uh, ammunitionstore.com, they don't have them in stock anymore either. I guess they sold out. And hopefully they'll get more, or if they don't, someone else will. Because, very good rounds. Thank you for your time, and uh, y'all have a nice day.